Speaking of fireworks, a new fireworks law is in effect, and that means you'll need a permit for some fireworks, and others are illegal now, including those. Now, we want a safe Fourth of July weekend, so the Honolulu Fire Department is here for some safety tips. And joining us this morning is Captain Terry Seelig. He's the spokesman of the fire department. And also joining us this morning is Fire Inspector Kiana Cam. Good, Good morning. And Good morning. thank you so much to both of you. Sure. Thanks for having so me. So there's the new law out, and a lot of people are still confused in terms of what you can burn and what you can't. So for Oahu only, uh, right. what can you what can you still do if it's Fourth of July? Uh, well, firecrackers. Uh, the traditional red paper firecrackers are the only thing that's uh, legal to burn in Honolulu right now. Mm -hmm. So the flowers and the uh, sparklers, that's done? Yeah, that's all been made illegal by the new city ordinance that went into effect on January 2nd. So it's only firecrackers and only with a permit. Okay, and the little poppers, those are still okay well, too, right? Well, those the aren't firecrackers. Uh, those aren't firecrackers, th Those right. aren't fireworks, right? right. So the poppers and, and the streamers are uh, being sold, and those are fine. Uh, they're not uh, considered to be fireworks, so therefore they're not illegal. Mm -hmm. I know on uh, around the new year, you know, the fire department is incredibly busy with injuries and fires from sure. fireworks. Um, what are you expecting this Fourth of July? Well, it's it's a little uncertain because of the new ordinance and the volume of firecrackers, uh, but it doesn't take much to hurt someone, of course, or to start a fire. So we're still hoping that people are aware and, and uh, respectful. Uh, the proper firing time, place, and manner. Mm -hmm. And Kiana, you've got some tips in terms of uh, people out there if they want to have a safe holiday? Yeah, some safety tips, some housekeeping tips. Mm -hmm. um, we're hoping that people will pop the fireworks within the allowed time, which is 1 p.m. to 9 p.m. on 4th of July. We also want to stress away from dry brush, rubbish, on flat level ground, and also keeping maybe a water bucket or a water hose, garden hose nearby and just basically using proper techniques lighting and making sure everybody's away from from the area at the, mm -hmm. at the time now the fire department also had a amnesty program that they're working with yeah. police on and you had an incredible amount of fireworks that were turned in it right it was very unexpected the turnout we had the first weekend alone uh, there was over a ton 2200 wow. pounds were turned in at four locations. The second weekend we changed locations and we had about uh, 1,200 pounds of fireworks turned in. After this weekend, which is of course the holiday weekend, we're going to resume with two more weekends. Uh, so two more opportunities. Uh, you guys have been real uh, helpful in posting the schedule, so there'll be more opportunities if people still have fireworks that they want to get rid of after this holiday. Mm -hmm. Well, Captain Terry Seelig and Kiana Cam, thank you so much for joining us and hope you have a safe weekend. I know it's probably going to be a busy one for both of you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And now, uh, again, while most fireworks are illegal, there are still plenty of professional firework shows taking place for the 4th of July. You can see the entire list of displays going on across the state in the Hot Topics section of KITV.com. It is 649.